Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple timeline slide in PowerPoint. It looks professional but super easy. I'll teach you the main principle so that after you watch this video, you can create your own timeline version by yourself. Alright, first of all, right click and let's change the background color to something dark. Go to insert, add a text box, align it to center. Here, let's write the slide title. Change the color to white, adjust the font, make it bigger, and then add some space to the font. All right, because the background is dark, right click, format text effect, and let's add a little bit of glow effect to the text. In this option, just click randomly to the biggest glow effect and then change the color to white. Here, you can adjust the transparency as you like. For me, 80% is good. Now let's go to insert shapes and then draw a line shape on the slide. Here in the format shape, you can adjust the line size precisely. Change the line color to white. Now draw a circle on the slide, get rid of the circle outline and change the color. Here I choose red color. I can precisely decrease the size of the circle by the help of the shape option pane. Now drag and move the circle to beside of the line. Duplicate it by how much you want to show the timeline points in your presentation. For my case, I think 5 circles is good. Now distribute the 5 circles according to the line path. Duplicate another line, put it at the right. Carefully drag and link the circle to the line like this. Select and block every circles, go to align option and then click on distribute horizontally. If you're still not really sure about the circle position like me and want to be more precise, you can move it one by one like this. Alright, now duplicate the line 4 times, drag the lines like this. So the line can connect between one circle to another one. Change the color of every other 4 circles. Second to yellow, third neon, light green, and then blue for the last circle. Duplicate every circles, move the newer one to the top, and then distribute it like this. Now click on this circle, go to effect icon in the format shape, and then add glow effect. Pick the same color as the circle. Now do the same principle for another circles. Alright guys, by the way, let me remind you to don't forget to subscribe if you want more straight to the point step by step videos. Thank you. Alright, now insert a new shape, draw a hollow circle like this, remove outline and change the color to red. Adjust the circle size, move it to the glowing circle. Duplicate it, increase the size and put it like this. Now insert a new line, draw it while holding shift key to the bottom like this. Again, I'm not gonna lie, I used this size option to adjust the length of the line precisely. Change the vertical line color to red. Duplicate the glowing circle, move it to the tip of the red line. And now, reduce the circle size. Select and block all of the red shapes here. Deselect glowing circle at the center and now duplicate it. Move the new shapes to another glowing circle. Do the same thing for every circles. Select and block every objects at the middle. Let's drag it to the bottom so we can have more space at the top. Drag the second and fourth vertical line to the top and move the smaller hollow circle as well. All right, now change the color of the shapes to match the glowing circles one by one. Make sure to change the glow effect color as well. Here, do the same principle for the remaining shapes on the right. All right, now go to the one of the vertical line, duplicate it, rotate it horizontal, adjust the length, and then move it like this. And here, you can type your text down. Select and block the text and the shape, duplicate it, and then move the new one to below of another shapes. Do the same thing for another shapes on the right. Okay, now we're gonna do the same step to the top of the slide. Once we're done, change the color of the horizontal line one by one. Here, let's put the timeline text by adding some text boxes one by one. In this case, I paste it from my clipboard to save your time. Now, we need to add animation. We start it from the left. So click on this horizontal line, go to animation, and then click on wipe animation. Change the effect direction to from left. Now make sure you open the animation pane because here we can see the timing and objects. Click on this glowing circle, add fade animation. For this small hollow circle, add fade animation as well. For the bigger hollow circle, add wheel animation. Click on this vertical line, add wipe animation and change the direction to from top. This smaller glowing circle, add fade animation. Horizontal line, add wipe animation from left left and here select and block the text at fade animation. Now we're gonna play around with the animation timing. So make sure to focus on animation pane. Select and block every animation from the oval object to the text box. Right click, start with previous. Here's the thing guys, if you see the green thing on this pane, basically it shows the animation timing. As you can see here, all animation is on the left. So everything will start together if we play the animation. We don't want to left all of the animation like that because 
it looks not seamless and disorganized. So make sure to adjust all of the timing. Start from the glowing circle, make it start to appear after the straight line. Do the same timing to the small hollow circle as well. For the bigger hollow circle, adjust the animation to 1 second and then make it start to appear after the smaller hollow circle. For vertical line, make it start after the hollow circle. For smaller glowing circle, make it start after the vertical line. The horizontal line started after the small glowing circle. And for the text, make it start with the same timing as the horizontal line. When we open the preview mode, it looks something like this. Much better, right? Now let's move on to the next shapes, the yellow one. Click on this horizontal line and add wipe animation that start from left. Just like before, add fade animation to the glowing circle, add fade animation to the hollow circle as well, and add wheel animation to the bigger hollow circle. Click on the vertical line, add wipe animation that start from bottom. Add fade animation for the smaller glowing circle. Horizontal line, add wipe animation that start from the left. For the text boxes, just like before, just add fade animation. Easy right? Now it's time for the animation timing. Same principle like before. Select and block the animation option but the straight line, make it start with previous. If you see this number in the pane, that means in preview mode, the animation only start after you click your mouse. We should make sure if the straight horizontal line is start on click. And then make sure if another remaining shapes are gonna show afterward by itself. Alright, so let's play around again with the timing. Glowing circle and small hollow circle appear after the straight line. Reduce the duration of the bigger hollow circle and make it start after the smaller hollow circle. Vertical line after hollow circle, put small glowing circle after it. And then horizontal line with the text are gonna show together after the small glowing circle. After we apply the same step to the both red and yellow shapes, the preview will look something like this. Alright now, for those three remaining shapes, I'm gonna do the exact same principle and step like I did for the red and yellow shapes. By the way guys, don't confuse the animation things. If you understand the main principle and practice it by yourself, especially while looking at this video, I believe you can create probably much better animation by yourself. After you're done with the 5 shapes, don't forget to add wipe animation for the last horizontal line. Make it start from the left and make sure the animation will start after previous. Alright, we're done guys. So this is how can we create a simple timeless slide in PowerPoint. Looks seamless and professional right? If you want more straight to the point tutorial, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.